Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, I want to do my top 10 title races in Europe. So originally, the original plan was to do a top 10 title races in the world. However, I decided not to do that because there were so many good European ones. I wanted just to do a top 10 for Europe. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and do this, guys. So please remember to hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button, guys. And let me know, guys. Do you guys want to see a top 10 for the rest of the world? I can maybe do that and if you guys want. And if you guys want to see that, hit the like button, guys. I want to see us get 20 likes, then I'll consider doing it for you guys. Okay, let's start with the first thing we got here is Austria and Bundesliga. I mean, you can see right here, guys, the title race is going to be ending. We have one final game to go this weekend. And RB Salzburg, as long as they don't lose, they should be able... Well, yeah, basically, if they get a draw in the final game, they're crowned as champions. Stromgras have to win the final game. And they have to hope that Salzburg don't even, um, they don't win. Even a draw would be bad for them. So, basically, it's going to be difficult for Stromgrass to win it. I hope they do, you know, just to see a change of pace. Uh, because we know Salzburg have won the Austrian Bundesliga for so many times in a row. I think this will be their 10th time in a row if they win it. Or, sorry, 11th time in a row. 11th time in a row, I believe. So, yeah, man. Salzburg, man. Let's see if they can actually do it. Moving on to number nine. Number nine I have here. It is the Liga Portugal. This title race is insane. I mean, look at the point margin here, man. It's one point off. Sporting and Benfica. Look at how tight it is. And Sporting have a game in hand. Keep that in mind. Porto are on 52 points. It's going to be difficult for Porto to win this. Now, granted, they did get a huge win against Benfica on the weekend. So maybe there is still a small chance. But yeah, I mean, let's be real. Braga is not going to be in it. It's really going to be a, it's really a two-horse race, but potentially could be a three-horse race if you know, so, hey, Porto could get a consistent run of form going. But yeah, man, it should be a good title race, man. Um, And then number eight I have here, it is uh this one. I think this is a fa fantastic Super League. Galatasaray, Fair and Bocce. I mean, look how insane both teams are. Both teams have only lost one game this season are going neck and neck for the title. That is <laughs> insanity. And that's insane. I mean, look how close this is. Two points separating. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this one ends because I would love to see if Aaron Bache win the league, man. Oh, that would be awesome to see what happens. And yeah, moving on, we have it is the North Macedonia League. Look how close the North Macedonia e League is, guys. Scroopy's on 43 points. Struga's on 42. And that third club, I can't even pronounce the name. They're on 42 points. I mean, look how close this is, guys. This is going to be tight. I expect Scroopy to win it, but you never know, man. You just never know, man, because Struga... And uh, Struga actually have a better goal difference, which is actually interesting. Uh, they are one point behind, though. And so it's going to be interesting, man. Very, very close. Number six is the Croatian League. I mean, Dinamo Zagreb. They've been a team that have been consistently with the, uh, the Croatian League for a long time now. And now this might be the year where they actually lose the title after a while. And, you know, Hachkuk split and Ryaka are doing a really good, man. 53 and 52 points. Dinamo Zagreb on 48 points. So... Could Dinamo Zagreb still win this? I don't know, man. I'm still going to go with Dinamo Zagreb to win this. But, man, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them to win it, especially given how the, what position they're in this season. The next up I have it is the Danish Super League. Uh, for me, this is number five. This is a fantastic race. I mean, look at this right here. You have Michelin, Bronby, Copenhagen. Um, and it's a three-horse race. It's a three-horse race. And uh, we're, getting to the, we're getting to the end of the season, man. I think there's like two games left to go, I believe, in the season. So, uh yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens there, man. Uh, very interesting there. So I'm really curious to see how this one pans out. I hope that Bronby can win. I want Bronby to win it the most. Uh, but I would probably have to edge with Michelin to win it at this point. Maybe Copenhagen might actually win it, uh, given that they have they are the best team in Denmark, in my opinion, currently. Uh, then obviously got the EPL. We have a, a fantastic title race in our hands. Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal. I still expect Man City to win this, but let me look how close this title race is. Every team is one point off. Let's be real. Aston Villa is not going to really compete. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how this one pans out because I really hope that Man City don't win this league. Because let's be real, Man City is still the team. And Man City is probably still the likely team to win this league. Uh, but I want to see I want to see uh, uh, Liverpool, Arsenal win this league. Uh, next up it is the Bulgarian League, guys. Look how close the Bulgarian League is, guys. You have Ludogorets on 51 points. Chirma Moore on 51. The CSK Sofia on 48. Levski Sofia on 44 points. I mean, this is a very tight, man. Very, very tight. And you know what's actually interesting? Levski Sofia is actually, and them and Ludogorets are actually in the best form. But, man, don't sleep on Chirma Moore. Well, that would be amazing if they could get second place. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. So, 
Little Grats, man, they should be able to win this league, but you just never know, man. You just never know. And then finally, moving on to number two, guys, we have here is the Greek Super League. And look how insane this is. So the regular season had just finished, and now we have the championship phase. We have a playoff phase. And this is going to be very interesting. We have Polk, AK Athens, Olympiakos, Panite. And at the Nikos, like, it's a very fantastic, man. 16, 59, 57, 56, man. It's, it's very, very fascinating. I, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this one pans out. And then finally, the best title race, the uh, best title race in Europe for me is the Polish League. I mean, look how insane this is. You have Slesk, Roki, Djokotil, Bayri, the Pogon, Shizzy. By the way, I'm probably butchering these names, just so you know. The Lech Boznad, Rokotchev, 39, legit Warsaw 38. I mean, this is insane, man. This is insane. We could have a team that I've never heard of that actually win this league. I mean, this is insane, man. Like, look how many teams can actually win this. You have like five teams, six teams, actually, I would say, that could actually win this. Like, this is insane. I, I don't think there's any other uh, title race in Europe that has six teams competing. Our own mentions go to the Ukrainian League. I was going to maybe put them on this list. I was going to maybe put the Czech League. Those are two, some honorable mentions. Hungary League as well. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys agree with my top 10? Is there any t leaks I'm missing in the top 10? Let me know. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.